This question asks us, if we have a standing wave pattern, it's established on the string as shown, the wavelength of one of the component traveling waves is what? Well, we know that the wavelength of the component, the traveling wave component, is the same as the wavelength of the standing wave. So really, all we have to do is figure out how long is one wavelength. Well, from the picture, if I were to highlight this little section right here, it goes up, down, and back up. It starts at the same spot that it ends at in terms of the cycle. So this length right here is one wavelength. So if I have that this is six meters, that means each of these spots is two meters, which means that the wavelength is equal to four meters. Two meters for a half wavelength, another two meters to do the full wavelength. So our correct answer is four meters. There's another way to do that, and I know that I have three halves of a lambda, or three halves of a wavelength, one, two, three halves, and I know that that distance equals L, so wavelength is equal to two-thirds L, which is two-thirds times six meters, which happens to also be four meters. So two different ways to solve it, one by looking at the picture, and one by actually going through and setting the length, the total length, equal to some number of wavelengths that we have.